So here's an interesting development. I uh, left my supercritical CO2 chamber charged up with liquid CO2 for a week and then decompressed it and look what happened. <laughs> Whoops. Now this was not, the chamber was not super critical for the whole week. All I did was fill it up with liquid CO2, so it's about 750 PSI, and um, it was sitting there for the week. And then I opened it, and this didn't happen instantly. I opened it, and the plastic more or less looked okay. So I went away for a few hours, and when I came back to the shop, this is what the plastic looked like. Very strange. So obviously what has happened is uh, the so the high pressure CO2 went inside the acrylic and um, over time has been decompressing and uh, <laughs> deformed the acrylic quite strongly. Um, I, don't, I don't know, this, is, this doesn't really look very reversible and it's quite hard. It's not like this is a sponge or anything. This feels just like normal acrylic with bubbles in it basically. So looks like I'm either going to have to uh, retire this chamber or build another uh, set of windows for it. Okay, I will be following up by uh, trying to get some chemicals to make uh, aerogel. Of course, buying chemicals as an individual is very painful, and Sigma Aldrich already uh, denied me my chemicals, so I'm going to explore a couple other routes. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.